Hey NCA, this is Wes Peters, coach of the UC Bearcats and NKU Norse, uh, here recording the Baller of the Month, September 2023. Uh, winner of that award is Matt Rosinski of the Cincinnati Bearcats. Ski, congrats on Baller of the Month, and uh, as well as winning NDA Nationals too. How, how does how do both feel? Um, NDA felt really good just because I got to beat you, which That's uh, fair. made it twice as, twice as good. But no, it was, it was it was really great to win both. Um, for Ball of the Month, um, I always felt like, you know, I've, I've been underrated as a player and it felt really good to, you know, be able to actually lead the team now and I guess get out of that shadow of some of those tenured players that we had last year at UC. Um, I really feel like I've grown so much as a player in NDA and that's going to be shown this year in, in CBA and when you play grand with the Grand Valley squad, you know, you're, you're going to learn a few things and you're going to learn how to play smart, risk averse dodgeball. And I feel like that's been huge for me where I'm not putting myself in positions. And I think that's led to some success in, in, in CDA. So ball of the month, I don't want to say expected, but I know it's going to come out there and put on a show and I'm going to continue to do that for, for the team. Um, but as far as NDA, um, it was great to, to win with that squad. I mean, it was just such a talented lineup. So it was, you trust every single player there with your life, and that's just such an easier way to play dodgeball. Yeah, definitely. Your, your play has already stood out this season, and, and the experience from NDA and playing on a team like Kraken, um, it, it's paying dividends for you. And clearly, here we are, ball of the month. Uh, what, 53 kills or something at the first tournament for UC this season? Is nuts. Uh, speaking of NDA, what team have you are you deciding to play for next summer? Um, I think I have officially decided to start a team here in Cincinnati um, with a lot of the Cincinnati guys who are here, both active on the roster and a few players who might you know surprise you for the squad next year that we're still figuring out. But um, yeah, especially seeing you know what Grand Valley did and what a lot of the other teams like Michigan State with Final Justice like. I think it's so cool to be able to bring like some of your college teammates and just your best friends that you've played dodgeball with the last four and bring them to a competitive level in NDA. And I think that's something that is really special that obviously Kraken did and obviously Final Justice and other teams have done. So I think that'll be really cool to slowly build that with a Cincinnati team. Awesome. Yeah, I know we're all looking forward to uh, watching that team grow, see who's on the team watching it develop. Um, maybe we'll have two UC teams next year, who knows. Um, jumping back toward NCDA fully, uh, here's, a, here's one for you. How do you perceive yourself within the NCDA compared to your peers? Um, I think that's a question that's stayed consistent over the last two years for me. Um, I've always thought I've, I've been at the very top of the league, top, top three player, um, I think, in my opinion. Um, but I thought that even when I wasn't good at dodgeball, and I think that's something that's at least changed for me is I've always had that confidence and in myself, and it's it's time that my talent's actually backing that up now, and my experience has now kind of gotten to that level of where my confidence is, and I can play exactly how I want, exactly where I want, and I think that's been huge for me. Um, and I think that you know it's going to be a different player this year than you've seen in the last few years. Definitely. I think we're seeing it already. Uh, so you mentioned when you were bad at dodgeball. Let's talk about humble roots a little bit. How did you find dodgeball? How did you find the club? And what made you join and ultimately stay? Um, I, I never really, I guess, found dodgeball. Dodgeball kind of found me. I, I was a huge pickup basketball player my first two years of college. And then sophomore year in the, in the spring, um, my my pickup basketball court got kicked off because someone had club dodgeball practice. And Sorry about that. I, I, I thought it was the stupidest thing ever. And I I always, like I said, have had the utmost confidence in myself. So I said, you know, F it, I'll, I'll go and, and play dodgeball. I'm going to beat all these kids. They're probably no life, not good at anything. And uh, I got humbled very quickly mm -hmm. when I got team thrown at by Brett and Corey. And after that, I just a very competitive guy so anything I'm not good at I just want to keep doing it until I'm good so that's kind of how I got started and I guess I fell in love with the sport um obviously got super super close with a lot of the guys I mean I was just best yeah. man at one of the weddings which is such a cool thing to even think about that dodgeball is doing that for you and your friends um but yeah that's that's what's kept it together your friends keep you in in dodgeball and that's why I've stayed awesome yeah I, I remember when you joined the club it was uh 
I, I don't think I was there at that practice actually, and it was just new to it was you and Barrett that joined, and I, I knew pretty quickly, oh, we might have something here. So it, it was good to have you join the team, obviously, and where you've gotten to this far. Um, so let's talk a little bit about the team holistically. You see seven and two of the season with two closed losses to OSU. How do you feel UC has performed as a team thus far this season? Um, I'd like to say, you know, we'd be 9-0 at this point. Obviously, that was our goal coming in. Um, we, we had so many people, both, you know, sophomores stepping into huge roles, and we have a huge rookie class that's kind of just developing slowly. Um, and that's what we needed, and we knew that was going to happen, especially with, you know, so many returners who are going to take balls. Like, it was going to be harder for our rookies to develop. But I think they've done so much better than what we thought, and we continue to improve. Like that first tournament we had was really rough on a lot of a lot of different areas of our game, and we were still able to put up a really good performance against a really good OSU team. And uh, we have the utmost confidence in the second game against OSU. We felt like we were winning most of the points. It just they they've got such good experience; they're not going to make too many mistakes. And and we definitely made a few mistakes on a lot of those points. That kind of change it back the other direction. But overall, um, we just got to get better at being consistent. You know, it doesn't matter what team we play. We know we're going to have three good points where we dominate. We're going to come out there and play exactly how we want to play. Uh, we're going to make big time catches, but just those off points, like having, we can't have points against OU or BGSU where we kind of just slow down and stuff like that, which has been something we've had so far this season. But like I said, it comes with experience and you know, I think getting a really experienced arm back this next spring is definitely going to change the, the way this team plays dodgeball. Definitely. Speaking of, uh, with that person coming back, allegedly, uh, how do you see the rest of the season going? What are, what are the expectations for the club for ultimately? Um, we, we truly believe that this league is wide open. We feel like a lot of teams lost a lot of veterans, which is us included. We probably lost, with MSU, probably the biggest graduating class um, as far as talent, um, but we really feel like the league's wide open. Um, obviously, the, we haven't played teams like JMU, MSU, GV, uh, but we really think we can compete with every single team. You know, we get the chance to play the returning champs here in a couple weeks, and we think, you know, it's going to be a heck of a game. Um, they're going to be a really good squad. Um, so it'll be interesting because hopefully, you know, we have our full squad back for that. Um, but Overall, yeah, we think it's a two-trophy season, and that's the expectation going into it, and we really do think that we can do it. We've proven we can compete with any type of team. Definitely. Um, so just wrapping up here, any comments or you know anything to say to anyone around the league who might see this? Um, I mean, I think our play is going to speak for itself over the next you know four or five months um, come nationals. Um, I think we're going to be right up there in the conversation of contenders. Um, we just got to somehow figure out how to beat OSU. Um, and that's going to come with time. But it'll be interesting to have this matchup with MSU. They're going to be a really, you know, surprising team, you know, of who's who's going to throw. We know they got two two really, really good players, three really, really good players. And they got so many rookies, kind of how we do, who are stepping up into a new role. Um, so it's going to be a battle of inexperience and experience against them. And it's going to be interesting to see how we compete with the defending national champs and they're going to be a really good team, but we, we think we can compete with them. Absolutely. All right, Ski, congratulations again on, on uh, winning NDA Nationals and particularly here, Ball of the Month. Thank you.